So it's that time of year again to talk about the best laptops of 2023. There's different categories. We're taking price into consideration because this is very important for a lot of people. And there's just so many good deals right now on laptops. Now the winner of each category is gonna get a cheesy AI created image. And hopefully you guys agree with a lot of these picks. And remember, not every single laptop is in this because I've only reviewed so many laptops in 2023. Let's start this off with the best laptop for most people. This is like the laptop that is for school, the laptop that you use at the office. It's light, it's portable. You're doing general productivity. You're not really buying it to crush games or, you know, 3D effects, but you're buying it for everyday use. And that hands down goes to the MacBook Air. And the MacBook Air 15 is a great option if you want a bigger display. But if you're someone who's looking for a more affordable MacBook Air, I really honestly suggest you look for an M1 version. Not only are you gonna save yourself a lot of money, it's still very good even today. Like battery life is fantastic. You get full performance even when you're off the charger. The keyboard is great. It has one of the best touch pads in the business. It has a good screen, great speakers, a good webcam. The only thing that kind of suffers with it is the port lineup. You only get like two USB Type-C ports. But not everybody wants Mac OS. I get it. And this is where price becomes very important. Intel is playing a big catch up game right now. Their CPUs are good, but they still make a lot of noise. They don't get as good battery life. AMD's a lot closer, but I find it a bit harder to find good AMD laptops just because the supply is not as big as what Intel is offering. But here's the thing. There's a lot of good deals right now. And if you're looking for a Windows laptop, the ASUS ZenBook 14X, which retails for $699, I think is a great option if you just want like an everyday carry. If you can find yourself an ASUS ZenBook S OLED, that's also a good option. Like these are laptops that are under $800 that give you an OLED display that are very light, that have a good keyboard and a good touchpad. But yes, the winner of this round definitely goes to the MacBook Air. Next is the best 14 inch gaming laptop. And there's a lot to choose from in this category, a lot more than there used to be a few years ago. But look, right now, if you just need a 4060, and if you're okay with your RAM being soldered on to the motherboard, I highly suggest looking at the Lenovo Legion Slim 5. It is ridiculously affordable right now. Like the price you can get on it is under a thousand dollars. And that's really good. But if I had to pick a category winner, it would go to the Asus Zephyrus G14. Like the build quality on the Zephyrus is not as great as the Legion or even the Razer Blade 14, but you get a lot more options and Asus has been generally good at pricing these 14 inch notebooks. They make it super competitive and they pretty much include everything you'd want in a 14 inch notebook. You finally have upgradable RAM. You finally have a very nice, beautiful mini LED option. And look, as much as I like the Razer Blade 14 and for them introducing two slots for RAM this year, the problem with the Blade 14, I find it to be a bit too expensive for what you're getting. So if you want a good deal, go for the Legion Slim 5, but the overall category winner is the Zephyrus G14. Now the best 16 inch gaming laptop is super interesting because there's a lot to choose from in this category. Now subjectively, personally, I love the Lenovo Legion 9i. I think it's one of the most beautiful 16 inch gaming laptops you can buy right now but it's expensive and you are sacrificing a lot of things like a smaller touchpad, a very awkward keyboard because it's pushed down. You are getting water cooling and you're getting an extra charger and some nice features, but I think for the price, it's not the best value. I think for most people, if you want like the best bang for your buck, but also a great performer, you should probably look at the Legion Pro 7i. That makes a lot more sense because you're saving some money. You can still spec it with a 4090 and you're getting like 99.9% .9 of the features of the 9i, but in a slightly heavier package, but also a more affordable package. Now, if you're not going up to a 4080 or a 4090, then I highly suggest the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. That is still a very, very solid pick at a more affordable price point. And if you just want something that has a 4060 or a 4070 inside and still a good gaming experience, that's the laptop I'd choose. Now, if you want something a bit slimmer, there's obviously the Slim 7i, but I think for most people, the Asus Zephyrus M16 is the one that I'd personally pick. The G16 is off the table. Asus has completely nerfed that thing where I don't think it's really worth it anymore. There's just not a good divide. But if you want a good thin light gaming laptop, 
the M16 is the way to go. So for this round, it's a tie. I'm giving it to the Asus Zephyrus M16 and the Legion Pro 7. As for 17-inch gaming laptops, there's, you know, still quite a few to choose from, but it's such a weird category now that 16-inch gaming notebooks have taken over the space. And now there's even 18-inch gaming laptops that you can choose from. But there's one pick I do want to talk about, and that's the ASUS ROG SCAR 17. Now this one may not have like the best display, the best build quality compared to other laptops on the market. But the one thing that truly stands out about this laptop is its performance. If you want like the best performing gaming laptop, the ROG SCAR 17 is the one you should buy. This is the one that's using AMD's X3D processor. You're gonna get the best CPU performance compared to any other Intel laptop that exists today. And it also pairs with an RTX 4090 so you get the best graphical performance to go along with it. The best part about it is it's not as expensive as some of the more premium tier gaming laptops out there. So yeah, if you want the best performance in a 17 inch notebook, Hands down, it's the ROG SCAR 17. Now with 18 inch gaming laptops creeping onto the market, I didn't review a lot this year, but the one that really stood out to me was the Razer Blade 18. Like it's just a beautiful product. It's big, it gets good performance. The cooling is fantastic because the chassis is bigger. You have this beautiful, nice big display and you can spec it to whatever you like. It's a big laptop, it's a heavier laptop, but if you're looking for the biggest display in a gaming laptop, the Razer Blade 18 is probably the one you should choose. Just know that you are paying a hefty price to get this laptop, as Razer tends to you know, increase the price of their laptops compared to the competition. But yeah, if you want the best 18 inch gaming laptop, that's the one I'd go with. Budget gaming laptops are quite interesting. I haven't reviewed a ton this year. The only ones I really touched on were the Acer Nitro 5 and the HP Victus. And look, they're okay. They're not terrible laptops, but the problem that I have right now is they're priced a bit too high. The HP Victuses that are on sale are usually previous models or models with the RTX 3050 for a price point that's just not a good deal. And the same holds with the Nitro 5. My suggestion is to take a look at the ASUS TUF Gaming A16. This is a laptop that has an AMD processor paired with an RX 7600. And right now it's on sale for 729. I mean, like, look at that. That is a really good price point for this laptop. Best laptop for creators is an interesting place to be because I feel like if you're a 3D animator or if you're someone who's designing 3D objects in general, you're probably buying a gaming laptop to get maximum performance. So I have a feeling you know what you already want and some of my earlier suggestions would make more sense to you. But if you're someone who's buying this for photography, video work, light 3D work, After Effects, it comes down to two products. The first one, which is my top pick, is the MacBook Pro 16. I feel like the M3 Pro is the sweet spot. To give you an example of how good this laptop is, I took it on a flight, a six hour flight. I started editing a video with the product at 100% battery life. And by the time the flight was over, I was at 68%. Editing a video the entire time with full performance off the charger, it was a beautiful sight to see. And the best part about it, there was zero bands. You can't do this with a Windows notebook because first of all, you're not gonna get maximum performance, especially if it has a dedicated GPU. And I guarantee it wouldn't last more than two hours. So if you're someone who needs like a powerful computer with good performance, all the ports, beautiful mini LED display, the MacBook Pro 16 is the way to go. But if you have to have a Windows laptop and you are a video creator and in that category, the next best option would be the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. I really fell in love with this laptop. It was a very well-built, beautiful product. It had these beautiful chrome edges. The keyboard was fantastic to type on. You can buy it with an RTX 4070 and it runs just fine for most of the applications you're using. But the winner of this round is definitely the MacBook Pro 16. The best budget laptop for most people is a tough choice because it really comes down to deals. Price is so much more important at the budget category than for someone who's buying a three or $4,000 laptop. So the best advice I can give you is keep an eye on the deals. Like for example, I saw an Acer Vero laptop. This is a laptop with a full HD display, a decent keyboard, a good 1080p webcam, only eight gigabytes of RAM, but a good processor on sale right now for 480. And I think if you're looking for something under $500, it's a good option. But it really comes down to the art of the deal. 
and you have to keep searching because right now, before the holidays, we're actually getting a lot of good deals on laptops. So there's not really a category winner, winner for this one because it's so price sensitive. But what I'm gonna do instead is place a list below of options that I think are great to choose from. The best laptop I feel like is whatever laptop your company gives you, but look, at the end of the day, I'm giving it to the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's just a solid product, you know? Like it doesn't get crazily redesigned every single year. It doesn't get like, you know, a new look and a new feel, but it does one thing right. It stays consistent, it gets small iterative updates to improve the overall form factor, and you just know what you're getting. You know you're getting a fantastic keyboard. You know you're gonna get a nipple that you can touch and love and bring home to your family. A smaller touchpad because of it, but you do have lots of ports, you have a good display option, a good webcam, it's STD capable, so it's meant for the elements. You just know you're getting a solid product. Anyways, that wraps up my list of the best laptops of 2023. Links to all of them will be in the description down below. Let me know if you agree with my picks. If not, what would you choose differently? But most importantly, I hope you guys had a fantastic year and stay tuned for more awesome videos coming out soon. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.